This news update is brought to you by... Say hello to Shanta. Shanta is an entertainer, but she also loves to be entertained, which is why she has Flow TV brought to her through Flow's 100% Fiber to the Home Network. It's great for busy Shanta because she can control the time she watches her favorite shows, play back from the start in case she missed it, or even record with cloud video recording. And with her Flow Services bundle, enjoys much more for much less. Visit any Flow retail outlet. Call 1-800-804-2994 or visit discoverflow.co to find out more. One of a kind connection. This is how we flow. Welcome to this Barbados Today news update for Thursday, September 22. Thank you for joining us. I'm Desmond Brown. President of the Barbados Council for the Disabled, Maria Holder Small, says her organization was made to pay the 2% national social responsibility levy for the importation of wheelchairs and associated parts. Speaking at the handing over ceremony for the wheelchairs this afternoon, Holder Small disclosed that the Barbados Council for the Disabled was forced to pay the newly imposed 2% levy even though the shipment of the wheelchairs had arrived at the Barbados port before the September 1 start date of the new tax. Holder Small also spoke of other difficulties in clearing the shipping container. I honestly thought it would have been a much seamless um, transition to get that container on our premises. Obtaining the container brought its own set of challenges. So we still have um, storage. As you see our premises, we don't have that much space. So storage is an issue. But we are stepping every day, one at a time. Every time a challenge came up, we found a way to deal with it. But trust me, there were a bit too much challenges for the nature of the project. Pro Vice Chancellor of Undergraduate Studies at the Cavill campus of the University of the West Indies, Professor Alan Cobley, wants a change to the law governing the cultivation of marijuana. He made the call this morning at the start of a two-day symposium hosted by the university. Because of the current law in Barbados, we are not allowed to do research on marijuana. We would need a change in the law similar to that that we saw in Jamaica, uh, to the Dangerous Drugs Act, to allow the use of mar the cultivation of marijuana for research purposes here in Barbados. So this is an opportunity for me to emphasize again the importance of the supporting environment for research. And government can play its part here. Uh, by assisting us in looking at that particular provision of the law. Police are investigating a shooting incident which occurred around 9.45 on Wednesday at Arch Hall, St. Thomas. During the incident, a 58-year-old female received a gunshot injury to the right side of her head. She was taken to hospital where she was treated and discharged. Police say preliminary investigations revealed that the woman was involved in a family dispute which became physical. A 37-year-old man is currently in police custody, assisting with the investigations. Convicted murderer Peter Bradshaw was back in court today. The 51-year-old, whose real name is Adrian Fitzgerald Bradshaw, is charged jointly with 30-year-old Brian Barry King in connection with a large quantity of assorted ammunition, a number of firearms, and a quantity of cannabis. They were arrested on September 15 after a police operation in number two, Blades Hill, St. Philip. When they appeared before Acting Chief Magistrate Christopher Birch at the District C Magistrate's Court today, they were further remanded to prison to reappear on October 20. In sports, bowling coach Roddy Estwick says West Indies are still not pleased with their execution in all departments and will be working to improve these areas in the build-up to Friday's opening 2020 International against Pakistan. The West Indies easily beat an Emirates Cricket Board 11 by 22 runs in their only, tour, their only tour game on Tuesday, and Estwick said this outing had highlighted deficiencies which needed to be corrected. One area of concern would have been the Windies batting. Over the first half of their innings, they struggled against the left-arm spin of Ahmed Raza and were meandering at 74 for four in the 11th over. The Caribbean side were bailed out by the uncapped pair of Nicholas Puran, 47, and Rovman Powell, 38, and eventually got up to 166 for 7. There's regional and international news after this short break.
Regional News, Guyana's President David Granger has reiterated what he described as the danger its neighbor Venezuela poses to the peace and security of the region. In an address to the United Nations General Assembly, Granger said the danger Venezuela poses is as a result of its external assault on Guyana's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Venezuela, for a full year since I spoke, has stalled every means as it intensified its aggression against Guyana and thwarted all of the Secretary General's efforts to pursue a way forward, at least in terms of a process that promises final resolution to this controversy. Mr. President, Guyana stands ready to have the International Court of Justice determine the matter with finality. Guyana will work resolutely with the Secretary General in his final month of office to free our country and his successor from this surreal burden. On the international scene, hackers have stolen information from about 500 million users from Yahoo. The company has confirmed that the breach occurred in late 2014 and included personal identifiable information as well as encrypted security questions and answers. The site said it did not include any credit card data, adding it believed the attack was state-sponsored. In July, Yahoo was sold to U.S. telecoms giant Verizon for $4.8 billion. It is not yet known if the breach will have any impact on that sale or its valuation. News of a possible major attack on, on Yahoo emerged in August when a hacker known as Peace was apparently attempting to sell information on 200 million Yahoo accounts. Yahoo on Thursday confirmed the breach was far bigger than first thought. That's news and sports, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbadostoday.bb. Also, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, and like us on Facebook. We're on Izumi Media in the bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you, as well as Channel 99 on Flow TV. I'm Desmond Brown.